Ang first question natin para sa review session na to, an inductive impedance takes 11.5 ampere from a 115 volt 60 hertz AC supply. If the reactance of the inductive impedance is 6 ohms, find the power it takes from the supply in watts. For this problem, bali meron tayo inductive impedance na mayroong reactance na 6 ohms. Tapos yung nag-flow na current sa kanya is 11.5 amperes with a voltage source of 115 volts at frequency na 60 hertz. Balit niya tanong, ano daw yung power it takes, di ba, from the supply in watts. So, P, specify niya na watts yung pinapahanap. At alam naman natin, di ba, resistance only consumes or draws real power. Kaya yung P, tinapat natin sa resistance. At ang pinakamaganda magiging formula natin para dyan is P is equals to I squared R. Ang problema, meron na tayong I, pero wala pa yung R. Ang kailangan natin ngayon, masolve yung R. Once na malaman na natin yung R, makukuha na natin yung P. So, yung R, kukunin natin through impedance formula so yung R is equals to square root of Z squared minus X squared Bali meron na tayong X which is yung 6 ohms Ang wala na lang is yung Z E yung Z diba is equals to VT over IT Since it is circuit yan diba Iisa lang lahat ng flow ng current So yung VT natin is 115 volts All over 11.5 ampere So it will take account to 10 ohms So yan yung impedance natin At masasolve na natin yung resistance so, yung resistance natin is equals to square root of 10 squared minus 6 squared. Bali, yung resistance natin, it will take account to 8 ohms. Since nakuha na natin yung resistance, pwede na natin makuha yung power. So, yung power is equals to 11.5 ampere squared times 8 ohms. At ang magiging sagot dyan is 1,058 watts. At ayun yung sagot natin para sa question na ito. Para sa ating problem number 2, 2 impedance, Z1 is equals to 4 minus J6 ohms and Z2 is equals to 3 plus J X sub 2 ohms are connected in parallel across a 240 volt 60 hertz AC source. What is the value of X2 in ohms if the total current is minimum? So yung mga choices natin, A, 5.85 B, 6.42 C, 7.46 and D, 8.36. For our second problem, bali meron tayong dalawang impedance Z1 na merong 4 minus J6 ohms at impedance Z2 na may 3 plus JX2 ohms. So, connected sila in parallel across 240 volts, 60 hertz AC source. So, at tinatanong, ano daw yung value na ito? Such that yung total current is minimum. So, may hint na yan, ba Kung yung total current is minimum, ikaw ay nasa resonance condition. So, tandaan, bali, parallel circuit to. Para mas maintindihan ninyo yung gagawin kong technique dito, try ninyo panoorin ulit yung video do sa series in parallel of impedance at yung video lecture sa resonance. Ang isang feature ng resonance circuit, in-phase yung current and voltage. At the same time, diba, yung total opposition natin sa flow ng current, wala siyang imaginary part. So, resistance only. Bale, ang gagawin natin, ganun yung magiging atake natin. So, kung parallel resonance yung circuit natin, ang kailangan nating condition is yung susceptance ng circuit 1 must be equal sa susceptance 2. Or pwede natin sabihin, diba, dapat opposite sign sila. Since ito ay kapasitor at ito ay inductor, so magka-clash out sila. So, ibig sabihin, magka-cancel out. So, tama lang yung circuit na to. So, bali dito sa resonance condition na to, ba equal dapat yung susceptance nila. Since opposite naman sila, magka-cancel out. For circuit 1, masasabi natin yung susceptance ng circuit 1 based dun sa ayos niya, ang magiging susceptance niyan is Xc over R squared plus Xc squared. Pagdating naman dun, sa susceptance 2, masasabi natin, yung susceptance nga is XL over R squared plus XL squared. So, kung ipag-equal natin yung dalawang yan, ba lalabas na yung XL or yung X2 na lang yung nawawala. 6 over 4 squared plus 6 squared is equals to, so, ilipat na natin X sub 2, since equal naman sa XL. So, X sub 2 all over 3 squared plus X sub 2 squared. So, what's simplify natin to, ang magiging sagot dyan is 0.11538 at 
Tandaan, once na-isold ko to sa CalQ, isang salpa ko lahat ng decimal. So, bali dito sa board, pinutol ko lang siya. So, is equals to x sub 2 all over 9 plus x sub 2 squared. Once natin i-transpose yan, magkakaroon tayo na quadratic equation. Na kung saan meron tayong 0.11538 x sub 2 squared minus x sub 2 plus 9 times 0.11538 is equals to 0. So, once na-input natin sa calc yan, ang magiging possible roots natin, x sub 2 at x sub 1. So, yung x sub 1 natin is equals to 7.46 at 1.026. So, as per doon sa choices natin doon sa problem, ang lalabas sa sagot is yung 7.46. So, yung reactance natin, yung x sub 2. So, huwag natin pa-mistake to. Ha, is equals to sa x and is equals to 7.46 ohms. At ayan yung sagot natin para dito sa problem na to. Bali, ingat pala kayo kung magsiship solve kayo since yung dalawang roots is parehas positive. Ang mahirap dito, ba kung meron kayong problem na walang choices. So, sabi natin, nagpa-exam yung prof ninyo, ba So, kailangan ninyo gawin, i-plot out nyo na lang tong dalawa. At ang mahirap dito, magkalapit kasi yung dalawang roots. Case to case basis yun. Pero since ang problem natin, nilagyan ko ng choices since for an exam type of question siya, ang lalabas sa sagot is yung 746.